John has named this the Big Stupid Rocket, but that's not what it's called. Uh, I gave you a little bit of a breakdown on this earlier. This rocket has been built in Wisconsin, Illinois, Georgia, uh, and that's about it. It, it is a big rocket. Uh, the fins are over 70 inches tall. Just the fins alone are 70 inches tall. Made out of foam, half inch foam core with carbon fiber on the outside, done by Eric Kainberg. Uh, the body tubes were uh, PML phenolic that we got from Locke, and then they were sent down to John Clifton just outside of Atlanta, Georgia, who fiberglassed the PML phenolic body tubes. Uh, then it all got sent back to me. I assembled the booster. Brent Lilson did the altimeter base, so if the electronics don't work, it's all Brent's fault. Sorry, Brent. <laughs> He'll never volunteer to do that again. Uh, Aerotech made demo motors for me. I really liked the L1256 three grain super white load. And I said, you guys really ought to do that in a four grain. If you do it, I gotta, I'll build you a rocket around it. And so there's six of those in there. Six M2225s. If you were here first thing this morning, John Williams flew a four inch rocket on one of those. And it just disappeared, man. It teleported. Uh, Chuck Swindler built me a nice four-inch motor in the middle. Uh, Chuck helped, actually Chuck built all the motors. Uh, Clifton assembled it all. I painted the bottom, John painted the top. Uh, and a whole bunch of friends put it out on a pad out there. Guys, thank you all for all of your help. This is to celebrate Midwest Power 20. We did this at Midwest, most of the early Midwest Powers. We, yeah, the big one way out there is seven motors in it. It's a H2 maybe. Huh? H2? H2 and, uh, I think it's 25, 26 feet. All right, here we go. It's going to go five, four, three, two, one. What's supposed to happen? <laughs> but yeah, it did, didn't it? Brent did his job. Uh oh, rut roll. No, I don't think those are the fence fluttering.